Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.2. This is actually a great update and it keeps getting better. New features are being discovered with the iOS 15.2 update and you should be very, very excited for iOS 15.2. It will bring a lot of game changing features to your iPhone. So in this video, we're going to talk about a few of those. And of course, we're going to talk about the release date. Now we have a very clear idea of when this update will come to your device. And that should be really, really soon. Now, before we get into all that, right down below this video, you will find a like button. That like button really helps out a lot. It will of course help this video reach more people and help this channel do much, much better. So I would really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and let's get started with the new features of iOS 15.2. All right, first of all, we're going to the battery settings. Right here, you will see a new feature, which is actually really amazing. And a lot of people will take advantage of this feature. Of course, the only people who won't take advantage of this feature are scammers that are trying maybe to sell a used iPhone for a new iPhone. And here's how this feature works. Now, I have this as a screenshot here because I don't have this message on my iPhone. This will, of course, show up on iOS 15.2 when you have on your iPhone a battery that's not genuine. Now, a lot of people when purchasing a used iPhone, they will take a look at the battery health. And that's a really great indicator. If you go to the battery health of an iPhone, and let's say you go here and see the percentage of the maximum capacity. Right now, I have 98% on my device. That's an indicator that this device is pretty new and that it has not been used a lot. But if it's like, 82 maybe 80 percent that's an indicator that that device has been through a lot and even though it might look good on the outside you probably will need to change the battery very soon on that device maybe if you're purchasing a used one that's a big no-no now of course people will change batteries on the iphones and pretend to have an iphone that is maybe even brand new but now if they just put an unknown part it will show right there it will basically let you know that there is a not genuine battery on that iphone and of course you will be noticed right away with a message so only thing you have to do is just go ahead open the settings and go to the battery settings and right there on the battery health you will get that new message of course as long as the device is on ios 15.2 on iOS 15.2, when you go to the Wi-Fi networks and you go to one of them, you tap on the little I button to see its details right here. Now you will find a new section that says right here, limit IP address tracking. Now this of course has been changed. The labeling has been changed on iOS 15.2 and what it does, of course, when enabled, it will basically limit IP address tracking by hiding your IP address from unknown trackers in mail and Safari as well. So you will be safe browsing and of course, while using the stock mail app of iOS. With iOS 15, Apple has brought a new feature under the privacy settings called App Privacy Report. Basically lets you know whatever apps are using on your device, data, sensors, and everything else. So now with iOS 15.2, you know that there's a UI. If you have one of the older versions of iOS 15, you won't get anything here. Now we have a UI right here with iOS 15.2. But what's really interesting, so if you go to one of these, so here I'm on a website, and of course I can see here from which apps I have viewed this website and everything that the website has used. If you just go to one of the sections here, you will get a button that says learn more. Now this button will allow you to learn more about app privacy report. So of course you see their data and sensor app network activity, but you probably don't know in details what they actually are and what kind of data and what sensors these apps and these websites are using on your device. Now you can go ahead and tap there and you will see everything explained here and exactly know what apps and websites are using on your device. You probably know that on your iPhone by pressing five times on the side button, you will go to the emergency call screen. Now on iOS 15.2, you will get a new notification when you do that. So if we just go to the emergency call screen, you will see right here, it gives us a notification. So when we cancel that, because 
accidentally a lot of times you might do this especially i do this when i'm clinging my phone here i will just press five times the side button and it will make that call but now on ios 15.2 you won't be able to actually disable that and you will get a notification on the lock screen whenever you cancel the call here so let's just go to the lock screen so there is the notification that we get from the settings app and if you just press it so let's just open the device you will get this text right here so it says that your iphone has initiated the emergency sos call and of course it shows the exact time you did that and it will just say that if you didn't do this of course by your choice you did it by an accident you will have now the option to actually disable this by going to the settings so you go here call with five presses and disable it right there Another change you will notice on the notification center of iOS 15.2 is that the notification summary card is now rounder and you can see that the corners here are way rounder than they used to be and it actually looks really really good. The new redesigned notification summary on iOS 15 is just great. You tap right there and as I said on the previous video you can now clear all the messages all the notifications that you have you don't have to do that one by one and of course you will be able to still swipe on any of them to clear them individually or go to their option and do whatever you want another thing that ios 15.2 will fix which is actually really great and very welcome for the iphone 13 users is that it will now fix the problem with face id now a lot of people have been experiencing this problem. So if you have an iPhone 13 on iOS 15, 15.1, and you get to repair the screen of your iPhone, you have to replace it, it will just break the face ID on your iPhone. That's a software problem, and now it has been fixed with iOS 15.2, so that's really, really welcomed. Of course, it's not like everything is really great. There will be bugs, as with every iOS version. Now, one of them that I have encountered, when I go to the widgets panel to add a widget, I did not get the keyboard a lot of time, so I had to basically go out of it and go back into it to get the keyboard. The same thing with the app library. I have been experiencing this just not on iOS 15.2, but since I have installed iOS 15, not getting the keyboard a lot of times, that's really, really annoying. Now, another thing that a lot of people have been reporting is that auto brightness has not been working correctly on their iPhone running iOS 15.2 beta. Basically, when they wake up the phone, it will just have the brightness all the way down, and sometimes it doesn't even change based on the ambient light. So that's a bug that's still persistent on iOS 15.2 and hopefully will be fixed upon the, for the release to the public of iOS 15.2, for which we're gonna talk right now, and it is really, really close. And now let's move on to the calendar and let's see when can we expect iOS 15.2 to be released to the public. So we are on the 26th today, we're on beta 3, we didn't get a beta 4 because on the US it was holiday of course on the 25th and we didn't get any beta at all. But expect one next week probably on the 30th most likely or on December 1st. Now every year Apple on the week of 14th they go on holiday, they holiday start on December on the week of 14th so we have just about two weeks for iOS 15.2 to be released to the public so you can expect a new beta or maybe they will just go directly to the RC version next week at the beginning of next week and you can expect iOS 15.2 to be released right here at around December 7th or 8th that's one of the dates when I expect iOS 15.2 to be released to the public. So we might get a beta at the start of the next week and then maybe towards the end of the week we might get the RC version or just get to the RC version directly and then on the second week of December we should get iOS 15.2 getting released to the public. So that's basically it for this video guys, this is iOS 15.2, a great update with a ton of very useful features. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you did and of course leave a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one.